Well, welcome back. Now, as we pointed out in the first segment of the show, we've had some amazing news today. We had a state senator in California who is a major gun control advocate caught selling guns, even rocket launchers and an FBI sting. Now, of course, unlike Eric Holder and the ATF's Fast and Furious, or I should say False and Furious, he'll probably be going to jail. There doesn't seem to be any chance that they're going to go to jail. We also had a case where the Turkish government was caught red-handed, plotting a false flag attack, firing missiles on its own people so that they could start a war with Syria. And of course, we've seen that happening all last summer. They were trying to start a war with Syria. But today on the Alex Jones Show, Max Kaiser was a guest, and he pointed out some interesting facts about 9-11. Here's what he had to say. And this book called The Death of Money by Jim Rickards uh, explains in great detail he is an eyewitness who was there in the room while the CIA was monitoring insider trading on the airline options leading up to the days leading up to 9-11. I'm here to confirm that the CIA was trading on inside information against the deaths of many Americans on that day. And I'm here to confirm that Cantor Fitzgerald was also trading on those options against themselves. To talk about suicide bankers, Alex, these bankers were trading on their own death. So is it any surprise now that so many bankers are committing suicide? Uh, they're, they're psychopaths. Uh, we saw it on 9-11. We see it uh, on every day on Wall Street. Bankers committing financial terrorism. They trade on their own death. They trade on other brokers' death. You know, Max Kaiser, I've got to stop you. This is bombshell. I didn't know that you would break this here today. I want to just stop you. We're going to have to do a nightly news piece on this tonight and, and, and pull out all the original articles because I covered it at the time. Now, to repeat the key point, Max Kaiser said that he has an eyewitness who is actually in the room as the CIA was profiting from insider trading and planning insider trading associated with 9-11. Now, this is not new news. It's new that we have an eyewitness report, but as Alex pointed out, this is something we've been reporting on for a long time. Look at this story from 2006. New James Bond film highlights 9-11 insider trading. In the movie, they say, when they analyzed the stock market after 9-11, the CIA discovered there had been massive shortings of airline stocks. When the stocks hit bottom, somebody made a fortune. Yeah, well, what they didn't do in the movie was actually tie that back to the CIA and the FBI, but other people did. We had this article from April of 2008. And actually, this is a transcript as well as an interview with a former German defense minister who confirmed the CIA involvement as he was talking to Alex Jones. He had worked for 25 years in politics, and he said he was a minister of technology before he was their secretary of defense. Then in 2009, we had an article about a rogue trader that highlighted the possible 9-11 and 7-7 UK insider tradings. According to an article in the London Times today, Society General rogue trader profited enormously on the day of the 7-7 London. And bombings, and he also revealed how his company made huge profits on September 11th, 2001, prompting some to return to questions over insider foreknowledge of both terror attacks. Again, in 2010, we pointed out that the SEC said the government destroyed documents regarding pre 9 11 put options. That's where people were selling the stocks short, especially of the airlines. Again, on 2012, 9-11 insider trading, the facts laid bare. This is from Global Research. They say, arguably the best place to start is by examining put options, which occurred around Tuesday, September 11th, 2001, to an abnormal extent, and at the beginning via software that played a key role, the Prosecutor's Management Information System, abbreviated as PROMISE. And then finally, this last one that I've got here, and there have been many, many articles, and of course, that we wrote about it even before the first one of 2006, this one just last year. Did the Saudi intelligence chief and other high-ranking officials trade on inside information regarding 9-11? And they point out that several financial economic experts, and they list them there, say that there was insider trades right before 9-11 by people who knew the attacks were coming who had no conceivable ties to Al-Qaeda, according to the 9-11 Commission. Now, the 9-11 narrative, as we all know, whether you believe it was insider knowledge, whether you believe it was planned by criminal elements of our government or not, you know that they have used this as a narrative to steal our freedoms, to create a police state, a surveillance state. And this is what Donald Rumsfeld had to say about this. Well, that's what I was just going to say. 
Um, I mean, this president's pretty much a victim of success. We haven't had an attack here in five years. Uh, <coughs> help. Um, the, the, the perception of the threat is so low in the society today yeah. uh, that, that um, it's not surprising that the behavior pattern reflects a low threat assessment. And the same thing is in Europe, there's a low threat perception. Um, the correction for that, I suppose, is, is an attack. And, and when that happens, uh, then everyone gets energized for another period. And it's, it's a shame we, aren't, we don't have the maturity to recognize the, 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 the seriousness of the threats. My God, the, 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 the lethality, the, the carnage that can be imposed on our society is so real and so present. And, and, so serious that, that you'd think we'd be able to understand it. Um, but as a society, actually, the longer you get away from 9 11, the less. The less correction for that, I suppose, is, is an attack. Yes, false flag attacks like 9 11 are key to setting up the excuse for the surveillance state, to make people think that they can trade their freedom and get security in the bargain. But of course, once they establish that, they also have to condition us to live in that surveillance state. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.